Hey there, it's David Gordon from Theater Mania here. It is Tuesday, August 4th. I'm here with the great Jared Spector. One of the, feels like dozens of again? No, can you, can you see me? Are we good? Oh no, we're frozen. Anyway, Jared is starring in uh, something called A Killer Party, A Murder Mystery Musical. Yeah. Uh, hi. Hi, good to see you. You too. You are one of the. It feels like it's a dozen, a dozens of stars, in this, in this, yeah. movie, which premieres tomorrow. Yeah, there are a lot of people involved. I think there are eleven primary cast members, something like that. I just know when I go to tag everyone in the, uh, on the, the social media campaign, I think there are eleven. Yeah, but yeah. It seems like it, it's an, it's it's a really fun big family of people, despite the fact that most of us never worked in the same room at the same time. And yet I'm sure you all know each other just from the Broadway grapevine. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think at, at one point or another, I've seen or worked with pretty much everyone who's in the cast. Yeah. Yeah. What, um, tell me about, tell me about what this is, first of all, because I feel like people still aren't really, like people still either don't know or are just coming to learn about it. Right. Sure. Well, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a serial show so there you know there are nine episodes of this uh to tell this story of this murder mystery um which uh there's and there's a bit of uh you know for those who have purchased or watched the first episode or previews of the first episode you might know that there's a little bit of a meta concept here and the person who is right varthur MacArthur, who is the, our host is uh has and the artistic director of a of a, a theater has has written a show about a murder mystery that just happens to take place uh, in a house in which a murder occurs and then a murder mystery takes place. So it's a show within a show. And yeah. uh, very conveniently, this totally wasn't planned by the creative team. Everyone has to go and self-isolate and quarantine in various parts of the house and, you know, be in a room alone uh, and then be interrogated one by one by one. So it really worked out for those of us who were uh, all separated as we all are in our own homes to, uh, to do what Jessica Keenan Wynn called the, the longest self tape. Of her. <laughs> <laughs> so you play a character named George murderer. Yes. Is he the murderer or is that a spoiler? I couldn't possibly. That's true. Tell you. His That's last true. name is murderer. So you've got that dead on. So in some sense, yes, he is a murderer. Um, and his motives are certainly uh, questionable as everyone's uh, pretty much everyone in the cast has, has some motives. So, uh, yeah, he's he's an interesting, fun kind of love him, hate him guy. I just love the, uh, I just love the like the in jokes just in the character names. Oh yeah, like Laura Osnes, who should be here hopefully at some point during this yeah. conversation, sure. is playing a character named Vivica Orson Wells. <laughs> yeah, uh, Drew Galing has my favorite character name, which is Cameron Mitchell John. Was it as fun to do as it looks or as it seems? Yeah, I mean, yes. First of all, um, the material is really silly and fun. So um, in terms of the artistic side of it and being able to just play, uh, yes, that stuff is really fun. Um, the songs are really catchy. Uh, the lyrics are funny. You know, the jokes are, you know, it's all like, I mean, it's a lot of inside Broadway humor, but like, yeah. not that it's it's not esoteric. It's not like everyone can't totally enjoy it because everyone will get almost all of the jokes. Um, especially as you said, I mean, a lot of the jokes are just puns. So, you know, I mean, I love a good pun and there are a million of them, especially in the, I mean, our detective's name is Justine case. I mean, you know, it's like, it's everywhere. Um, and, but in terms of the, uh, the filming and the recording of it, uh, I think for a lot of us, and I can, I mean, it's certainly for me, it's a, it's a learning experience. Um, all of the, uh, jobs uh, of the various people in our industry who are incredible. It looks like we froze again, but he'll be back shortly. Yeah, so this- Oh no, am I there? back, am I back? Yeah, you're back, you're good, we're good. I'm we're sorry, great. oh goodness gracious. Um, I was saying- We'll do it uh, live. We're sort of, uh, yeah, the, the magic of live theater over the internet. So uh, I was saying the, um, what we take for granted, not take for granted, but suddenly this, this vast array of skills that are honed and crafted by um, the various members of our industry, uh, people who work on lighting and, you know, directors of photography and, and every, you know, every sort of aspect of theater and filmmaking in one 
suddenly we're doing a lot of it on our own. And I can yeah. say, you know, I can tell you, I'm, I, you know, I am, I am none of those. I have none of those skill sets. You know, like I mean, I'm certainly not uh, trained in most of right. them. So all sort of working with what we've got. Um, fortunately, I was living in a, uh, I was quarantined in a house with a professional photographer, and he was of the utmost help. Uh, <laughs> Johnson, uh, Laura, Laura Osnes's husband, but um, nonetheless, we still were sort of. Uh, we were given given some direction uh, in, a, in a conversation with our director and our creative team. But then in the moment, you know, I mean, we're still left to sort of figure, okay, what's the best way, you know, what angle do we shoot this at? How do we, you know, and just sort of giving one another notes the best that we can and shooting it and framing it and doing all the things the best that we can so we can give uh, our creative team, especially the editing team, enough material uh, and enough variation to be able to put something together that's interesting, but also cohesive and, you know, funny. Yeah. Uh, so it's, you know, it was, it was definitely a process, um, but it was, it was, you know, it was definitely great fun and a, and a good challenge. Yeah. I feel like this is a whole new world for everybody of just figuring out how to do all this tech stuff on your own. It is. It's suddenly you have to understand three point lighting and you have to understand like what various shots are instead of a director being like, stand there and just wait for reframing. It's like, you have to know what you're mastering to shot and you're all, all the things. I mean, so what if we all, a lot of us, most actors know like the general gist of things, but it's different to actually then have to execute those things on your own while also being the actor in the scene. It's, you know, it's, it's a lot. Were you guys doing this over Zoom or were you literally just saying a line and then pausing like someone else? Can you see me? Can you see me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I can, I can. I'm sorry. Right. I think you asked, did we do it live or did we do it over Zoom? Yeah, did you do it? Well, did you do it over Zoom or were you just like standing there with like your phone, like the talking into your phone and being like, I'm going to say a line and then pausing? No, we did. So um, you mean in terms of scene work with. In terms, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. if you're interacting with someone else. Right. So um, the inter most of the interactions I had with other, well, there are definitely big group scenes mm -hmm. and. I think that that was a that most of them were done just by meticulous planning by our creative team, which is like this line should be directed here. Or if they didn't know exactly what they wanted to do because they wanted to be able to have options in the editing room, they would say, "Okay, right. do the line in multiple different directions so that we can figure out exactly where you're looking uh, when the time comes." Uh, so everything was was self-contained. I mean, like we we filmed at home and not over the all. all all we did over Zoom was have meetings, you know, about, okay, this is what we think we want to do in the scene. And, you know, everyone, we, we were given as much information, um, I think, that as we could realistically get ahead of time without, you know, and then sort of in the trenches in the moment, you know, figuring it out the best that we can. I think actor by actor figuring out, okay, what can I do to give the editing team, our director, you know, our creative team, um, the best material that they can, you know, use to sort of piece yeah. this crazy jigsaw puzzle together. Um, but in terms of, like interacting, like I have scenes with Jessica Keenan win it with, and for the most part, it's like, okay, she, you know, you look left of the camera, she's going to look right of the camera. We'll make it look as best as we can. Like you're looking at one another. Um, she's going to bend down on this line. So lower your line of sight. I mean, it's like those kinds of things you have to plan out ahead of time that in a normal, on a normal set, you would just watch her squat down and talk to her. But instead here, it's like, you know, you're, you're, you're just sort of, uh, you have to pre-plan it. And uh, unfortunately, you know, in some ways it's great, but in other ways it's like, it leaves you a little bit less room, especially for the editing team. You know I mean? They have to work right. with what we give them. Um, but yeah, so far what I've seen, I mean, they're, they're doing a, a miraculous job. I can't even imagine like the level of detail that it takes to do everything that they do. Plus everyone has a different camera, a different, right. you know, different lighting, and they're somehow making it look and sound and feel like one piece. Um, you know, I just watched a preview of one of the episodes and it's, I, I, I genuinely forgot that the actors, because I wasn't in the scene that the actors were in two different rooms because it's so, it's just so, so seamlessly done. That's so cool. Yeah. It's, it's just like, it's fun to, it's fun to see the way people are like creating or trying to create theater now. Yeah. With all that's going on. Were you working on anything when the theaters got shut down or was, was Kelly working on anything when everything got shut down? No, I actually, I, I was not working. I mean, I have, um, I had a series of, of concerts uh, that were lined up that of course got, you know, postponed for a year. <laughs> it's bananas. Um, and Kelly was, you know, in the sort of in the thick of pilot season as, as actors often are, that, you know, I think we all are, and, you know, in March. Um, yeah. No, I mean, I, you know, and I, 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 and I certainly feel I feel for everyone in the industry, but especially those who are in the middle of a show and especially those who are in a brand new show or in a brand new season. And, you know, this is, 
you get X number of opportunities, you know, like life is finite. You get X number of seasons and to be in a show, especially one that you believe in or in a role that you love. And, you know, this, this happens. I mean, everyone is, uh, everyone is in the same boat in terms of, man, I hope yeah. this comes back, but the ones who really missed out in that moment, it's, that's a, that's a really tough blow. Yeah. Was, uh, was the share show as fun to do as it looked for you? Or was that show, that show was like simultaneously so fun, but also just like a complete beast to do, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, it was a beast. I mean, it, first of all, yes. Again, I mean, <laughs> really silly fun in a lot of ways. Uh, you know, doing that goofy voice and getting to be Sonny Bono and dress up in those crazy costumes, uh, you know, and be literally dressed by Bob Mackie. It's fantastic. You know, yeah. it was so wonderful. And to work with those ladies and um, that all of that was, was, was really uh, a blessing. And I don't, you know, in terms of a beast, I think that, you know, <laughs> Those three ladies had a lot of work <laughs> yeah. to do, and I, and I, and it's not that I didn't have stage time. I did. It's just I, my, I didn't have to. First of all, I didn't have to dance, and they all they all had so much time. Right. So it's like on top of the acting and the emotional journey and the singing and the you know and the, the fine tuning of their share isms and trying to you know recreate this woman without doing an impression. You know, I mean, that's a very fine line to walk, and I, I had to walk a lot of it as well. But they had you know they just have all this other added pressure i think so yeah and, and the show wasn't short you know so it you know it was a it was long and um i mean it, you know it was full and yeah you know, it, a, a big full show sometimes i will be honest if people always ask like how do you do the voice and you know actually once i stopped doing the voice night after night after night, i was like oh that actually was was kind of hard <laughs> how you do that every night and it's like suddenly it's not you know it's not uh it's not that easy on your body yeah, I keep thinking of that great video you did for us where you transformed into all of your different character voices. <laughs> yeah. That's still bubbling. Really, how you doing? Thank how you. you. That, that was such a good time. Actually, I'm so, I was really, I loved doing that only because I hadn't really thought about, okay, here's sort of my baseline and here's what I did for each of them and like sort of to do them back to back and be like, wow, that was, I got to spend so much time with each of those people, uh, you know, that I really got to capture a lot of them and sort of bring them into myself. So to be able to do them back to back, I think this is how, these guys are sort of the same, but also different. Uh, that was a good time. Yeah, you came in. You were we were so impressed with how on the ball you were and how like you had the whole thing just like you had the whole thing like memorized, like everything you were gonna say. And even if you didn't, I mean, like you were. thank you. No, I I, I have some idea of um, of what I. Oh, we might be frozen. We might be frozen. No, I'm here. I'm here. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Now you're frozen. Oh no! What are we gonna do? Anyway, a killer murder. A killer, what is it called? A killer party. A killer party. This is me a trying to party. vamp. I don't vamp. I don't vamp well. <laughs> uh, is, uh, well, anyway. Uh, yeah, you came in so prepared and we were so impressed with the, like how you were able to knock that out so qu so quickly and Thank you. Uh, so intelligently. And anybody watching this now, I order you to go on our site and just search for Jared's name on the site and you'll find this terrific video he did for us last year, maybe a year well, and a half ago now. It's such a great idea. I mean, I watched some of the, I watched some of them as well. Uh, you know, obviously in, in preparation to come in and to see, you know, these various actors, like, I don't know anything about clowning. So to watch right. someone teach like what that is, you know, I mean, it's, 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 uh, it's really wonderful to get, you know, cause we, all actors basically do, you know, we do some variation of the same thing. We get on stage, right. so, but the, the way that everyone goes about it uh, is so unique, especially if you're you know used to being in musical theater and you watch someone who really does straight plays and does comedy or, you know, whatever's in their preparation and what they, how they work their body. And uh, it's all, you know, it's wonderful to and be able to, you know, good, good, art, good artists, you know, you steal what's, what's good and you try to, you, you know, you take it on. So please, I encourage everyone to, to go in and laugh and, 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 and watch that video. Jared, thank you for your time. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Of course. And a killer party, a murder mystery musical. God, that's like the craziest tongue twister I've said in a while. <laughs> AKP, uh, AKP. AKP. We have, we have we it, use both uh, little acronyms there. It begins or is released, I guess, tomorrow. Uh, and right. you can find it at akillerpartymusical.com. Yep, and you can go by it now, and the first episode is already available to uh, to stream right away, and it'll give you a taste of the you know of the whole thing. It's a it's a nine episode arc. You will not know what's coming. I promise you will not. <laughs> if you could solve it, 
well, I'm not going to promise anything. What yeah. people are smarter than I am, but I don't. Yeah. I don't think you'll. I don't think you'll solve it. If you can solve it, you get to go to Broadway whenever it comes back. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You get to come backstage on Broadway. If you can... Yeah, Jared. Thank you for your time. Say hi to Kelly for me, uh, and thanks everybody for watching. Take care. Take it easy. Bye.